The court is back in session. And again, I'd like to hand the floor to the lead co-lawyers for several parties to put further questions to the expert. You may proceed. Je vous remercie, Monsieur le Président, et je tenais à vous indiquer qu'il est possible que je dépasse les quarts d'heure euh, dont vous m'avez parlé ce matin dans la mesure où, dans nos calculs, nous avions un petit peu plus de temps que cela. Donc je vais essayer d'être rapide, mais il est possible que je dépasse les 15 minutes. Monsieur le témoin, pour reprendre, Monsieur l'expert, pardon, pour reprendre là où où nous, nous étions laissés avant la, la pause so déjeuner. Je voulais commencer par une question euh, très, très simple. Like uh, simple question. Un cham peut-il prier en Khmer, pray in Khmer? Uh, there are two kinds of uh, religious practices. Il y a deux types de One is the uh, summons to, to say during the pray. La première, and un appel that has to be in the Arabic language. It cannot be translated arabe. into Khmer or into Khmer, any other uh, languages. It only exists in the Arabic language and it is part of the Quran. However, if you pray for harmony or peace from Allah or what you want to be granted by Allah, then you can use whatever language you want to. And as I said, you can use any languages for such an occasion. Et comme je l'ai dit, pour ces cas-là, vous pouvez utiliser n'importe quelle langue. C'est bien plus clair, et je vous remercie. That Avant la pause déjeuner, vous avez parlé de textes qui auraient été enterrés, de textes qui n'auraient jamais été retrouvés ou que certaines personnes retrouvent en, en labourant le champ, avez-vous dit Je voulais savoir si vous pouviez être un petit peu plus précis sur le type de textes qui avaient été enterrés, l'époque à laquelle ces textes avaient été enterrés et les lieux où des textes avaient the place, été retrouvés, enterrés. Les textes ont été trouvés lorsqu'un villageois de Svai Kliang labourait son champ. Svai Kliang is uh, a village Cléon, where there are no rice fields uh, next to it. À côté. And he actually plows the field Et in the village le champ and dans he le uh, found this text which was buried under the, the ground. Sous la terre. He ah. kept the uh, text and uh, he passed over some of the text to me les textes et il m'en a transmis une partie. The texts themselves are the religious text. Les textes à proprement parler étaient des textes religieux. There were texts in Arabic language. Il y avait des textes en arabe. And some were handwritten. Certains étaient manuscrits. Lors des nombreuses auditions que vous avez menées, avez-vous entendu à d'autres reprises le fait que des textes avaient été enterrés Et si oui, à quelle période ces textes ont-ils été enterrés Je 
cible One of the five conditions imposed conditions on Kapal villagers was that all the Qurans and related religious texts had to be burned. So when the villagers Donc, were aware of the imposition of the conditions, ont été informés des conditions qui avaient été imposées, They tried to uh, conceal the text. Ils And that happened not only in Corpus by Clem, it happened in other villages. Clients, villages. So, to the best of their ability, Donc, they hid the uh, text ils ont caché les or they buried it under the ground in the hope that they would be able to retrieve it uh, later on. So I believe uh, there were more texts that were hidden or uh, kept under the ground. Vous nous avez indiqué tout à l'heure que l'appel à la prière se faisait en arabe. Si je vous ai bien suivi. Y avait-il des personnes particulières au sein des villages ou des communautés de Cham qui étaient en charge de cet appel à la prière en arabe N'importe quel Cham pouvait-il faire cet appel en langue arabe Just about any Cham could make that call for prayers in Arabic. Praying is one of the obligations of the Cham people. Prier constitue l'une des obligations des Cham. I refer to those who uh, practice the Islamic religions. It was one of the five obligations uh, to be undertaken by the religious uh, believers. And if one fails to practice that, the person cannot be considered a Manque religious or a, 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 a an Islamic believer. Usually, the Musulmans. believers have général, to pray five times per day. Par jour. And Tun, as well as the parents, bear the responsibility to teach their children how to pray to Allah. Et cet appel en arabe, en langue arabe, dont vous m'avez parlé au tout début de votre témoignage, en début d'après-midi, qui, concrètement, au sein du village, était en charge de cet appel en arabe, en langue arabe of that call to prayers in Arabic. As I have just stated, Bien comme je viens de le dire, it was the responsibility of the parents as well as the tun or the religious teachers who actually teach the young children or their children to pray. Uh, if the uh, parents do not have time, si usually they would send their children général, to study with the tun. And the children will learn to the Les way how to uh, practice religion, to pray to Allah, and how Allah. to uh, pray in Arabic language. The Arabic language there for prayer is the original Arabic La language. It's arabe not the modified form or version of the later Arabic une language. Forme modifiée ou une version modifiée de l'arabe, c'est la langue originelle arabe. Je vous remercie de cette précision. C'est très clair. Thank you for this clarification. Vous avez indiqué hier. Yesterday, vous avez cité les cinq conditions qui avaient été imposées aux villageois de Copal, et la dernière d'entre elles avait trait au mariage, 
et donc je lis ce que vous avez lu hier en audience, que les hommes et les femmes Cham devaient épouser des personnes d'autres groupes ethniques et non plus des Cham. Je voulais que vous expliquiez à la cour comment se déroulaient les mariages dans la communauté Cham avant l'arrivée des Khmer Rouges, en tout cas avant le Kampuchea démocratique. President, uh, Mr. Expert, please hold on. And Council you had the floor. Thank you, Mr. President. I'd like to update to the question on the summary of the uh, statement by this expert on the uh, topic of marriage. The expert does not mention any of the five conditions related to uh, this excerpt. What the expert uh, says is that the Cham people could marry other races besides the Cham race. So this is a misinterpretation of the uh, statement by the expert. Je ne suis pas certaine d'avoir compris l'objection sure de mon confrère, car je n'ai pas l'impression que c'est ce que j'ai dit, mais je vais reformuler pour plus de simplicité. Pouvez-vous de manière rapide, s'il vous plaît, Monsieur l'expert, expliquer euh, la façon dont les Cham se mariaient avant le Cambodgia démocratique se mariaient-ils entre eux Pouvaient-ils exister des mariages entre Cham et Khmer quelles étaient les pratiques avant l'arrivée du démocratique Cambodgien régime Avant le régime Khmer Rouge, la majorité des mariages qui avaient lieu avaient lieu entre Cham et Cham. However, there were instances where Cham married the Khmer, and at the moment uh, it also happens. There is no religious restriction that a, an Islamic believer has to marry uh, the same race. In fact, a person could marry any race. Who, any race, as long as the person converts to be Islamic believer and to live in a way that is assimilated to the way the Cham people live. De la même façon, façon à celle des Cham. So if the person is willing Ainsi, to convert si into an Islamic believer, then the person could marry a Cham person. And that also happened before the Khmer Rouge regime. As for the uh, Khmer Rouge regime, the fifth Ce condition that was imposed on Kopal villagers was that the Cham men had to marry Khmer women. Likewise, the Cham women had to marry Khmer men. But in practice, it pratique, did not actually happen because after the imposition of the air conditions, the balance uh, took place, and as a result, the Cham people were evacuated. And for that reason, the since the Cham did not live in a community, the fifth condition was rarely imposed as the Cham people live to mingle with the Khmer people. And this is based on my research. Donc, si je comprends bien, vous avez, vous pouvez vous confirmer que vous avez mené des auditions avec des Cham qui ont été, qui se sont mariés ou ont été mariés pendant le régime du Kampuchea démocratique. 
Est-ce que c'est ce que je dois comprendre de votre témoignage que vous avez mené des auditions avec des personnes qui ont été mariées ou se sont mariées sous le régime du Kampuchea démocratique during the democratic the Kampuchea regime, and I'm talking of Cham. Mary it was not a main uh, subject of my research. My research did not, did not focus on uh, the marriage. Mais avez-vous le souvenir d'avoir auditionné Do you recall des personnes Cham qui avaient été mariées who had been sous le régime du Kampuchea démocratique Est-ce que c'est quelque chose dont vous vous souvenez Kampuchea ou vous n'en avez pas le souvenir Est-ce que c'est quelque chose dont vous vous souvenez ou vous n'en avez pas le souvenir Je me rappelle bien. However, I knew and I heard about this. After the Khmer Rouge regime, I lived in the Cham community and the survivors spoke about their backgrounds, about their experience. And some people said that they were forced to marry a Khmer people. And from late 1975 to uh, 1978, they did not dare to oppose any instructions uh, in terms of uh, the marriage, for instance. If they were to uh, be instructed to marry a Khmer person, they would uh, do so. Uh, if they were uh, to be instructed to marry a Cham person, uh, that would be a uh, good opportunity for them. Je vous remercie. Je voulais revenir sur la période Thank you. I would like us to de 79 the period à la chute du régime. Vous avez indiqué tout à l'heure qu'il n'y avait plus de mufti. Et si j'ai bien compris, vous avez indiqué qu'après 79, ce sont les villageois qui avaient désigné les hakims. Est-ce que j'ai bien compris ce que vous avez indiqué ce matin Oui, c'est exact. In fact, the uh, the previous mufti, as well as his first en fait, and second deputies, were killed. Ainsi que son et adjoint and the ont été uh, surviving tués. Hakims, in fact, the Hakims et were also killed uh, during the Meru's regime. And the only uh, best approach to elect a Hakim was to look for uh, one of those survivors who had their knowledge about uh, religion and who were a, a good, faithful and uh, respected person and who could uh, represent uh, their community, then they would be selected for uh, to be uh, voted, and whoever received uh, more votes will be uh, elected as Hakim for Et that village. Later on, however, when Par la suite, Mufti was elected, Mufti bears the responsibility to appoint Mufti a Hakim a été élu, for the village. Qui était responsable de nommer un and by that time, uh, the Et villagers did not involved in the uh, election or choosing a Hakim for their community, except where, where the villagers dissatisfied with, with the appointment of a particular Hakim, Hakim and they wanted to vote for a particular person to become a Hakim, if there is the case, usually Mufti would uh, consent uh, to this uh, vote. En 1979, le nouveau Mufti a-t-il été élu 
vous indiquez qu'en 1979, il n'y avait plus de mufti et donc les villageois ont été no obligés en quelque sorte d'élire les hakims. En quelle année le mufti, le nouveau mufti, mufti et les adjoints ont-ils été élus Je ne me souviens However, pas de l'année exacte. Cependant, je me souviens que c'est arrivé first general election in Cambodia après in la première élection générale au Cambodge en 1993, lorsque les élections nationales by ont été organisées When the new government was formed after that election, the government decided to find someone to be appointed as a mufti. De choisir and de nommer in fact, mufti. the process of uh, appointing fait, the mufti at the time was that all hakims throughout the country were gathered to elect uh, several of their representatives to be voted. And the first person who attracted the more votes were appointed vote. to be a mufti. And then to the, the mandate mufti. for their mufti was uh, expired. Le mandat and then a, mufti a vote was uh, Another mufti was elected. Et alors, de nouvelles de nouvelles élections de mufti and second mufti who was elected uh, was in their power with no expiry date of their mandate and the person was uh, recognized uh, by the king vos recherches vous permettent-elles d'éclairer la Chambre sur la, la raison pour laquelle il y a eu un laps de temps important entre le mufti qui est décédé pendant la période du Kampuchea démocratique et celui qui lui a succédé et qui a été élu en 1993, si je comprends bien vos explications. Pourquoi a-t-il fallu autant de temps pour élire un nouveau mufti Uh, yes, uh, the time lapse was uh, extensive. Oui, la période était longue. And this is in relation to the freedom, uh, to religion, the freedom to elect uh, religious leaders and to communicate uh, with religious leaders locally and overseas as well as the support uh, from Islamic countries to the Islamic uh, community in Cambodia only existed after 1993 general election. We can also say that the light of freedom, the light of democracy started to take a shape after 1993. That is with the intervention by the United Nations. And prior to 1993, such freedoms were not fully exercised. N'était pas exercé pleinement. La raison pour laquelle je vous posais la question, c'est que je souhaitais savoir s'il y avait un lien entre la nécessité de, de former un nouveau mufti, ce qui peut éventuellement prendre du temps, et le fait qu'il ait été euh, élu en 1993. Si je comprends bien votre réponse, c'est des raisons if I understand your answer correctly, there were external reasons related to the impact of Democratic Kampuchea on the Cham community that explained the fact that the new Mufti could only be elected in 1993. Is that the thrust of your answer? The Pyeongchang is a big from 
Entre 1979 et 1993, les Chams avoir leur dirigeant religieux Mais ils n'étaient pas en mesure d'en avoir un. And as I said, the freedom to religion, et comme je l'ai dit, la liberté religieuse the light of, uh, democracy started, et la lumière de la uh, démocratie ont commencé à prendre forme après 1993. Juste pour finir sur ce sujet, pour être bien certaine de vous comprendre, quand vous dites que les Cham n'étaient pas en mesure d'avoir un outil entre 1979 et 1993, à quoi exactement faites-vous référence quand vous dites que vous n'étiez pas en mesure d'avoir un moufti Vous n'étiez pas en position d'avoir un moufti. However, uh, after I grew up, the communication between the Cambodia and other uh, countries Après avoir was grandi, restricted as the country Cambodge was still in a, a uh, went through a period of war. And the uh, government itself was organizing uh, the country and its uh, structure. After 1979, there were representatives of uh, the uh, government, but there was no uh, mufti yet, although there were hakims and uh, tuans. And there were only uh, very minor instances of uh, people of Hachi who went on a pilgrimage, as they had no means uh, to uh, go overseas. Je vous remercie, c'est très clair. You. Je voudrais finir mes questions like to now with, uh, en, uh, by, um, en vous demandant quelques, you, quelques éléments sur votre parcours personnel. Uh, vous avez indiqué à plusieurs reprises dans ces deux jours de témoignages que vous étiez vous-même né pendant la période du Cambodge démocratique. Vous êtes né en 1971. Vous êtes né en Svai Kling. Je voulais vous poser quelques questions sur votre questions expérience pendant le régime du Cambodge démocratique, puisque la, la décision de la Since Chambre E367 nous autorise. Je voulais savoir si vous so aviez know, uh, uh, des souvenirs uh, personnels de ce qui s'est passé pendant uh, la révolte à Svai Kling. Uh, the re the in Svai Kling. Response. I was so young at that time. I was only four years old. I don't have um, direct or immediate uh, memory. As far as I remember, I heard from my parents my relative when I returned to uh, my home village in 1979 and more importantly based on my research. Pouvez-vous nous expliquer si vous savez si vos parents vous l'ont dit ou euh, vous êtes euh, allé après la révolte de Baikling Est-ce que c'est une information que vous avez réussi à, à retrouver en parlant à vos proches by speaking to your relatives. Response. In the uh, rebellion, even in Swai Klang, Many of my relatives lost their life 
my grandparents de mes, de, de were de ma sent out of ont, ont were told to go out of the village but they refused enfin, dit, to do so village, and saying that this is um, my our house our village maison, so they refused to leave Ils ont de but um, in fact um, in 1979 when we returned those who refused to leave um, the elderly, uh, the pregnant partir, women who could enceinte, not travel, who uh, refused to live and stay there. And when we came back in 1979, we didn't see any of them alive. And some vivant. other charm people were sent out and separated to be detained in uh, uh, separate places. At the beginning, endroits. the small children were allowed to be with uh, début, uh, the mother or the parents. And my family were sent to Kratche province. So only a few family of Cham people were sent from Swai Klang to Krati province. In my family, um, in uh, Krache, uh, none of our members were subject to any mistreatment or killing except the forced to eat pork. In 1976, one of my elder brothers died of starvation and later in 1978, my younger sister died in a, hosp in a hospital in Kratjes province. I remember very well about the starvation because I was so hungry when I was young. I need more food. I heard from my parents that um, in the past we would have enough food. And they pleased me by saying, please try to uh, be patient and to live until um, we have peace and we can have enough food. And other young children did the same way I did. Uh, we were uh, wandering around collecting leftover um, fruit or any um, food that left and we collected for food. Did you remain with your parents in Kratje, uh, or were you separated from your parents? So do you remember that, or did anybody tell you what happened? Response. My father was separated from my mother. Both the mother, um, they, they were living far away from each other. But my sister was living with my mother. But my sister would stay with uh, my mother, Donc ma 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 soeur but when my bien. mother left for for the work site, Et the dam work site, ma mère, elle my uh, younger sister was sent to a children group supervised by an old lady, ma soeur cadette and était mise dans uh, une my younger brother who died in 1976, he was sent to another uh, unit far away from the village. I had no opportunity to meet my father or my uh, brother. I could meet with my father or mother with very limited uh, occasion ma mère que très peu. and I met 
either of them only at night when we hear it, when he or she returned from uh, their work sites uh, during the daytime. Um, President, you seem to take more time than uh, given, than allocated um, council. Well, I have a last question, Mr. President. Uh, so, if you please allow me to, I'll put it to the, to the experts. President, yes, your request is granted. Je vous remercie Thank you. pour euh, finir, well, Monsieur l'expert, sur votre récit. En quelle année êtes-vous rentré, êtes rentré à Spikeling Si oui, en quelle année if yes, Et pouvez-vous expliquer les, les défis you or the auxquels ont fait face les villageois qui sont rentrés à Spikeling Response. In 1929, when we returned, en 1979, quand nous rentrés, I saw houses left empty with in, without any uh, villagers. I kept waiting to see uh, a return of uh, my uncle, my aunts, my cousins, second cousins. We keep waiting a year or two or three years, and no one has returned. Then I assume that they were all died or killed because it was a large village of more than 10,000 families. But um, in 1929, um, uh, most of the houses were left empty, empty and, and the western part of a village in Swai Klang. Um, when those houses left empty and the Cambodian family moved and lived there, and we started uh, to build our community right after 1929 until now um, in Swai Klang. Even though um, we have a charm family of uh, more children, but if we do the count of the actual number of family and people, we still can find the number of family and population, which is less than uh, what we had um, before 1975. If you would like to know the exact information, you could si do your research or to do the count at the village. You will si see the reality then. Dans le village, vous pourrez voir donc la réalité sur le terrain. Je vous remercie, Monsieur l'expert. Thank you, experts. I am Monsieur done with my questions. Thank you very much, Mr. President. President, thank you. President. Um, it, now the chamber will um, give the floor for the Defense Council and uh, uh, Council for Noon Chia, you have uh, the floor first. Um, do any of the judges have any question? Uh, Council for Noon Chia, please hold on. Now, uh, Judge Lewen, you may proceed. Oui, merci, yes, Président. thank you, Mr. President. Uh, maybe there was a misunderstanding here, but indeed I have a certain number of questions to put to the expert. Um, First, uh, I would like uh, to provide to the expert a document. Uh, this is document E3-154. This document is, in fact, um, the original copy in the Khmer language of a telegram that uh, is mentioned 
in its totality uh, in Osman, the book Chum written Rebellion. by Mr. Osman, The Chum Rebellion. Donc, dans le so, dans le livre, in the book uh, E3 slash 2653. So, Mr. President, uh, if I may... Uh, provide the witness with this, uh, the, the expert, correct, interpreter with this document. And Mr. Osman, the document uh, in question uh, is in the English uh, version of your book on page 166, in English ERN 0021-92-27. Donc, les ERN en français the French ERN sont les suivants. Is the following. 0, 0, 11, 25, 252 252 à 253. To 253. Et en anglais, And in 4 fois 0, Ingl 84, 4 times 0, 84, 95. 95. Voilà. Le titre so de the ce title document of this Telegram document is uh, Telegram number 15. Avant de poser une question sur so before ce I document, put a question to you about this document, I would like you to tell me or I'd like you to remind us uh, date when the incidents rébellions uh, that you describe occurred, the, that is to say the rebellion uh, in Copal and in Sveikliang. The rebellion in two villages happened in 1975, but it happened before the date um, appeared on this document. Based on the recollection of the villagers at Kapal, they said that the uh, rebellion in Kapal um, was one month earlier, so in October 1975, um, in Kapal, so on the twin, it's on the 30th of uh, the Ramadan month in 1975, because the villagers remember very well uh, the rebellion jour. in uh, Svai Klang because it was on the um, 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 the the ending of the Ramadan of the fasting and the rebellion rebel um, happened on uh, that day. Donc, so, je précise qu'effectivement, like le Telegram, the telegram est daté we're speaking about is dated 30 November 1975. So, so this is a telegram that author apparently is a so Chon. So, who was? Response. I don't know who Chon was, but I know other uh, individuals uh, listed on this document. Well, okay, we will get to the other names maybe a little later on. Well, the subject of this telegram is the sharing of difficulties regarding the transfer of a certain number of people. So can you tell us, first of all, can you tell us if you remember this telegram and can you tell us which this telegram, what this telegram corresponds to and what connection there may be between the events in Copal and Sfai Kleng and uh, this uh, population transfer that is described. Respond. Yes, Your Honours, I remember very well oui, Monsieur le juge. Uh, 
on uh, the information on this uh, Telegram 15. I was the one who uh, picked this document when I was working with this. It came in 1996 um, uh, because the information related to charm people and uh, it uh, directly related to the rebellion of the of charm in Copeland Strike Clan. Do it doesn't indicate it a uh, Swai clan or Copal, si but uh, in nom de Copal, uh, on the document it say uh, it is decided to evacuate the charm um, people from the eastern zone in order to um, uh, restore. Um, A situation so that they need to disperse charm people and move out to live in different uh, area. It is uh, dated on um, the 30th of November 1975. So I believe that the the figure or and and the information on these documents to uh, to ease the tension in Donc the eastern zone was meant to, to, pour, uh, to deport the charm people from their community. If the charm people were to allow to stay, si there might be other rebellion. So they should be evacuated Donc, to different uh, locations. So, so uh, the evacuation of 1,000 family of charm people, they were not evacuated to live as a group or community of charm, but they were dispersed or separated to live in different um, places. President, international prosecutor, you may proceed. I just wanted to bring to the your Honor's attention and the party's attention, attention what I believe is a problem or discrepancy in the translation of this document, particularly the last paragraph, and advise you that there's another translation of the very same document on the case file. That's at E3 slash 1679. So I'm only going by the English translation. Uh, and, but uh, to be clear, I've contacted the translation unit, and they indicated the there would be a correction. I don't know if there has been yet a corrective. Copy, I don't know if there's a correction of E3, E3 1514, or I believe it's a document you're using. Une correction apportée donc à ce Thank document you. E3 bar 154. Qui, but the other translation, again, is at Mais E3 slash 1679. Alors, j ai, j ai well, effectivement, indeed, euh, um, une, euh, I have here version corrigée, a corrected version également la même référence which en carries anglais, the same index in English, E3 slash 154 correction slash correction 1. Est-ce que c'est so, euh, la uh, version à laquelle vous faites référence The version you were referring to, oui. I see that you're not in. So, pouvoir, well, maybe we will be able to... I'm sh I, I probably is. I'm sorry. I, my computer, I had a little problem, so I've just uh, been able to start it, and I'll check. Thank you. Well, well uh, the problem is that, uh, well, Il y a en fait différentes there are indeed uh, références pour uh, different ce même document. Uh, index numbers for the same document, uh, 1E3-1679, but a priori ce n'est pas la dernière speaking, référence, il y a une référence plus récente, uh, reference number. qui est There's la version E3-154, number, which is E3-154, slash correction 1. Correction one. Et cette so dernière it is version that version that I think uh, we should use 
sachant que because, uh, l'original, bien sûr, les références n'ont pas changé. The, uh, obviously, the references Mais, in the original uh, copy haven't changed. Monsieur l'expert, well, uh, expert, vous avez dit uh, qu'il y avait un lien you said that there was a connection between uh, these events et, et, et ce and this telegram. Je note que dans ce and I note that in this telegram, um, il est question d'éloigner les chams the des rives du the Mekong point is to, uh, en vue de faire remove the cham from the banks of the Mekong Donc, in order pour que ce soit bien to uh, ease the uh, tension et, uh, and Zweikling and Kopal of course Mekong, were on the banks Mekong, of the Mekong or uh, la référence aux rives du Mekong concerne aussi d'autres événements or is this reference to the banks of the Mekong linked to, to other events Uh, in Kopal and Swai Klang villages, uh, uh, and in Krochma district, dans les, dans ces they were et dans les, located dans les along Krochma, the banks of the Mekong River, le long des which were located Mekong. in sector, sector 21. Sector 21. <laughs> and furthermore, the following is stated, français, and I'll read it in French, it's the penultimate paragraph. En principe, ce transfert in a pour but the aim of this de disperser les chams is to scatter the chams comme cela avait été discuté as entre this nous. was discussed among Alors, ourselves. So, uh, translation, so, can you tell us uh, sur, apparemment, des discussions qui ont pré-existé about que vous these êtes discussions. Are you aware of these discussions that took place before? Nous à ce sujet? Are you aware of any kind of information related to this? Alors, sachant que là aussi, ce qui peut-être important, c'est de rappeler again, what's important à qui est adressé ce remind télégramme, to whom ce this telegram is addressed, aux frères because the Paul, telegram is addressed to Brother Paul, de but there are, of course, Alors, a certain number of recipients. So regarding the recipients, can you tell us anything about them? And can you provide us with uh, any complementary information regarding prior discussions about a policy aimed at cham. scattering uh, the cham? The content in the telegram so clearly that the telegram is about the evacuation of the Cham people out of the East Zone. And it was in referring to the discussion. But I could not find the minute of the discussion. Je été en de un de cette discussion. But if we look at the real situ situation after the rebellion took si place, immediately after that, passé, tout the suite, Khmer Rouge called all Les the Cham to meetings in each village. And during the meeting, they, in, they threatened réunions, the Cham people. Ils ont menacé les cham. They told the Cham to relinquish their religion, stop speaking their languages, and not to rise up again the Khmer Rouge like the ones took place in Swai Klang and Kapal villages. So if we compare the situation with the content in this telegram, I think that the evacuation of the people from Je the East Zone, specifically gens de la zone est, from those living along the Mekong River Bank, du Mekong, but not from Bong Khmum district, because Bong Khmum had only a small area that Car, au, dans les de Kwan, that, Tbong, that border Kmum, the Mekong River Bank. Une petite partie qui était sur les rives du Mekong. So when they referred to those 
who needed to be evacuated. I think it refers specifically to those who live in Krochma district. Je pense que cela fait référence strictement à ceux qui sont au district de Krochma, ou en particulier à eux. So regarding the evacuation, Donc, it took place after sujet de cette évacuation, the, elle a eu lieu the meetings après les which réunions, were called after the rebellions. Suite aux révoltes. And during the meeting, the Cham people were warned not réunions, to rise up. On a averti les Cham qu'ils ne devaient pas And in this telegram, it, the content is about the evacuation. Et and it's a mass evacuation. On parle d'évacuation en masse. So, according to this content, more than 100,000 people document, plus de 100 000 were to be evacuated. Être and those who were evacuated and sent to various places, some of them endroits. were not received. And they were Certains sent eux ne sont pas to arrivés. other places. Et sont en, et ont été envoyés ailleurs. And the recipient that this telegram is addressed to et donc, was Brother Paul. Le, and le based on my research, Brother Paul referred to Paul Pot. Paul, cela fait référence à Paul Pot. And the telegram was also CC et to Brother Noon. And I, Noon. And to my research, it's referred to Noon Chi. And the telegram is, was also addressed to Comrade Pork. Ainsi que le camarade Pork. And, and this person is no one but the cette personne secretary of the north zone c'est le secrétaire de la zone nord euh, je ne suis pas sûr d'avoir vu la mention sure du frère Pock sur le euh, télégramme mentioned on the telegram it des appears that in the list of sont, uh, sont, sauf, copies de ce télégramme who are copied, le frère Nguyen, there's brother Nguyen, Bangden, 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 et les archives and archives que, so Si vous voyez le frère Pock, est-ce que vous pouvez me le dire Pock, can you tell me where because I I don't see where he is mentioned. But some chumrip responds. Allow me to clarify in case I made a mistake. And now let me repeat my response. There was a mention of Comrade Pok in the content of in one of the paragraphs of the telegram, and it's not in the CC section. Actually, his name was mentioned in the third paragraph, which says uh, this matter might not have been made known to Comrade Pok. Alors une dernière question concernant ce, ce télégramme. Vous avez One parlé du district de Bangmom, disant qu'il n'était bon pas euh, principalement le long des rives du Mekong. Mais ce que j'aimerais savoir, c'est si Mekong. vous savez à l'époque like qui était à la tête period, de ce district, quels étaient les dirigeants en place. Who are the leaders in place at the time? The I did not say that Pokemon district was detached from the Mekong River Bank. Part of Bokmom was along the Mekong River Bank. However, the Cham people who lived in Bokmom was actually in Tiro commune. And besides that, there were no other champs living along the Mekong River Bank in the Bonkmom district. As I said, geographically, part of Bonkmom is located along the river bank, and there is only a, a, a section of it where the champ people lived. 
คุณมันบานจำที่ทรอปบานสาวที่อยู่ที่ราชนาสุพรรณ the leaders of ตบงคมม district at that time they were referred to as the district committee or the district chief however through my research I am not sure who were the district committee of ตบงคมม Et est-ce que euh, vous souvenez si Monsieur Matli faisait partie du comité de district ou a fait partie à un moment donné du comité de district Or was he a member of the district committee at any point in time Bah, Matli, que tu manoeuvres maintenant, ne prenons tu me nom. Matli uh, was one of those who were in the leadership of the Bokmum district. However, it is unlikely that he was the, uh, uh, the secretary of the district. Je voudrais maintenant qu'on aborde un autre uh, télégramme like auquel vous avez fait référence dans votre livre. Et j'aimerais qu'on puisse vous en remettre like la copie originale en Khmer. The original copy in Khmer, if it's possible, Mr. President. Yes. Alors. Oui. Vous avez fait mention de ce télégramme dans votre livre sur la rébellion des Cham. C'est à la page 115. ERN en anglais, 0-0-21-91-96. J'ai noté en plus des différences dans les références. En français, on donne une référence E3 par 5511. ERN en français 00035-0762. En anglais, la référence se trouve au document E3 par 952. Et les ERN sont 00-18-18. 258 à 60. Voilà. Première question, Monsieur l'expert, est-ce que vous vous souvenez avoir fait référence à ce télégramme dans votre ouvrage? Yes, I recall that. Oui, je m'en souviens. Voilà, puisque J'aimerais aussi vous poser la question de savoir si, depuis la publication de cet ouvrage, vous avez pu vérifier un certain nombre de traductions et voir si la traduction qui figure dans la version anglaise de votre livre est exacte, puisque il semble qu'il y ait tous les cas des différences entre les traductions que nous avons au dossier et celles qui figurent dans votre livre. And the translations in your book. Are you aware of these discrepancies? Phum Chong, I look up Phum. Kalai Namui. Your Honor, could you please indicate where the discrepancies exist so I can compare what I have in front of me? I refer to the original document maintained at the DC camp when I did my research. Voilà. Dans ce télégramme, well, également adressé à Bank Paul, il y a une section 1, Paul. avec euh, un seul paragraphe d'ailleurs, et euh, il dit ceci à un moment, en réalité, il y avait des troubles fact, dans le district de Chamkarle, les ennemis étaient... The des anciens soldats, ainsi que des Chams et des anciens chefs de coopérative. 
former heads of corporate. Ils ont affiché les photos et le communiqué du 18 mars 1970. Si je vous dis ceci, c'est parce que dans votre livre, il me semble que quand il s'agit de faire référence aux ennemis, vous faites référence aux ennemis aux soldats de l'ONOR, à des Lord, anciens chefs de coopératives, ainsi que euh, as well as à l'entière race Cham. An entire Cham race. Je n'ai pas vu And I have not seen dans les traductions que nous avons de ce document une référence document, à l'entière race Cham. Reference to the entire Cham race. I will uh, compare the uh, documents. Je vais comparer les documents. However, I acknowledge that uh, my analysis of this document concerning the person named Q, Q that I included in my book And, and uh, okay, I think there is a gap uh, in my uh, work. In fact, this document was also uh, sent to Nguyen Chi and Kyo Sampong. And when I uh, wrote My book. Et lorsque j'ai écrit mon livre, I did not make mention that, uh, je n'ai pas mentionné bon Kyo, or brother Kyo que mon bon Kyo ou Sen. frère Kyo, cela voulait dire Son Sen. And I uh, made an error that uh, brother Kyo was Kyo Sampon, but in fact, uh, brother Kyo meant Son Sen. Parce qu'en fait, ça voulait dire Son Sen. As for the discrepancy in the translation, I will review it. Ce que je vous propose, Monsieur l'expert, c'est que vous allez peut-être pouvoir profiter de la pause que on va prendre tout à l'heure pour vérifier les deux traductions et nous dire si la traduction qui figure dans votre livre est exacte ou si on doit effectivement retenir la traduction qui figure au dossier du tribunal. Voilà, sachant qu'effectivement, il y a record. deux grandes divergences. La Bearing première, c'est la référence à l'entière race the first primaire, euh, l'entière race Cham comme étant an les ennemis, Cham et la deuxième the enemy. And divergence the second, concernant the second les dessinateurs, en particulier le fait que M. Kiosampan uh, aurait été dessinateur de ce télégramme. Je voudrais qu'on passe à un autre question. I would like us to talk about another question. Et c'est une question de suivi puisque ce matin, M. le procureur nous a donné lecture d'un extrait du livre de Ben Kiernan, le document E3 par 1593. À l'ERN en anglais, 011 50 147 11 47 à l'ERN en français, 00 63 90 52 à 53 et en Khmer, 00 63 77 et 96. Page 280 du livre de Ben Et Monsieur le procureur, ce matin, vous avez parlé d'un document numéro 163, une page 163. Et Ben Kiernan faisait référence à des événements qui étaient survenus dans le sous-district de Krava, dans la zone nord, enfin la zone centrale. In the central zone. Et il était fait état de 20 and familles qui avaient été emmenées et euh, un des témoins s'interrogeait et ne comprenait pas pourquoi ces familles avaient été emmenées parce qu'elles avaient mangé du porc, elles avaient fait tout ce qu'on leur avait dit de faire. 
Et ce témoin fait référence à un document qui date de 1978, ce fameux document 1783, et le témoin en question s'appelle Ia Matt, et ses déclarations ont été, toujours selon le livre de Ben Kiernan, confirmées par un autre témoin qui s'appelle Witness called Alors, Os L. La question que je vous poser, c'est est-ce que vous avez eu connaissance de ces interviews Est-ce que vous avez eu accès aux documents sur lesquels Ben Kiernan s'est fondé On which Ben Kiernan relied. I read uh, Ben Kiernan's book. J'ai lu le livre de Ben Kiernan. And I also have read uh, certain documents that Ben Kiernan referred to. However, I cannot recall all those uh, uh, documents that he referred to. As for this document related to what happened in Krava commune, I must say that I cannot recall that. Bien, ce qui m'intéressait, c'était aussi en particulier la date qui était donnée par le témoin 1978. Est-ce que, à votre connaissance, Monsieur l'expert, vous pouvez nous dire s'il y a eu des changements dans euh, le traitement réservé au CHAM Est-ce que le CHAM, euh, le traitement qui était pratiqué en 75 c'est maintenu ou est-ce qu'il y a eu Did des variations Est-ce qu'il a été aggravé Est-ce que vous savez éventuellement uh, pourquoi 1975, were there any changes And if so, do you, under, do you know why there were such changes Bad luck, Chakram. Je me souviens que j'ai claimé que j'ai été en train de faire un peu de temps. Je me souviens que j'ai été en train de faire un peu de temps. Le événement de 1978 était le plus grand qui s'est passé à la jeune personne. Peu importe si ils vivaient dans le village, 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 dans le village. Even for the champ who lived in other zones, the situation became worse for them as well. As in this book, uh, when Ben Kenan referred to the event that happened in Krova commune, it is similar to the events that happened on the Cham people either they were in the east zone or in the north zone. The Khmer used use different strategies to attract the Cham people to return to their respective native villages. They used those techniques in Ils order to identify who were Cham and who were Khmer. And as uh, highlighted by Ben Cannon, although the Cham agreed to follow si the instructions by the Khmer Rouge to, to, to sacrifice uh, Khmer everything, at last they were still killed. Ils en ont pas moins été and the uh, killing of the Cham people Et and le... their The rest of us almost wiped out, and that happened in Et around 1977 and 1978. Thank you, Judge Lavanche. It is now appropriate for a short break. We take a break now and resume at 3 o'clock. Court officer, please assist the uh, expert during the break time and invite him as well as the OCIJ legal officer back in through the courtroom at 3 o'clock. The card is now in recess.